Hey guys, it's Jade from Vogue Bookworm. I'm going to start doing a new thing on my channel called Pajama Sundays, where I take a chill day every Sunday possible and read books and let you know how I am progressing with them. And you can see my wonderful at home style when I don't have to put on makeup. Sometimes I may have makeup on, sometimes I might not, it just depends. Today, I have had the most wonderful day. It is Sunday the 2nd of April. Can't believe it's April already. This is going to be a very exciting month because I become an auntie to a beautiful baby boy this month. So I'm going to have two nephews in my life. Also, this month, I start pretty much my dream job. I resigned from the job I just got when I moved to the city because... I was offered a job in one of the best art galleries in South Africa, if not the world, and I obviously accepted, and I start that on mm, well, later this month, so very exciting and um, looking forward to this new chapter. I feel like this is why everything happened the way it did. This is why things went wrong in Spain. This is why I moved back to South Africa and why I decided to come to Cape Town and I met a good guy and everything has just sort of fallen right into place for the first time and it is extremely exciting and finally feels like life is going my way. Today has been a wonderfully lazy day of... I finished the Book of Joy with the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. Finally, it took me exactly a month to finish that book, but wow, it was so worth it. If you want to check out my review on Goodreads, I'll leave my, Goodre my Goodreads link down below. Go check it out. That book is phenomenal and life-changing. One of the better self-help, non-fiction, spiritual, philosophy, psychological books on the market. And then I decided to start Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I've been very excited to start this because the TV show just got released and it's with Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon and Laura Dern. So I really want to read the book before I start the TV show and I started it like a few hours ago. I'm already 100 pages in and I just love it. It's so good. The writing is brilliant. I love Leanne Moriarty as an author. I always have. The Husband's Secret is my favourite novel, novel of hers so far. The twist was just phenomenal but really enjoying this and I am reading it with a cup of green tea because I just finished my wine sadly and um, some chilli lint chocolate. So and that is my vibe for this Sunday. Let me know if you have read anything by Leanne Moriarty. If you've watched the TV show, it's an HBO TV show of Big Little Lies. Um, yeah, great book. Really, really enjoying it. What is it about? It's very confusing and mystical, really. It's like, how do you explain it? It's all these mothers whose children are in kindergarten and they one of the kids of this young mother called Jane, who's I think 24, is accused of strangling one of the other little girls and he's adamant he didn't do it. And all these mothers uh, are quite self-conscious and aware of social media and society and how they should and should not be and all that crap. and. There's been a murder, and at the end of most of the chapters, there's this uh, journalist interview thing going on about people talking about the murder, and at this stage we don't know who got murdered, but everyone's been interviewed, and it's very interesting and intriguing, and there's domestic violence, there's all sorts of things, divorce, and stepchildren, and oh, I just love it, it's like... Filling my day with much enjoyment. So yes, but I hope you had just as much of a wonderful Sunday as I did, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, bookworm friends. It's Sunday, the 9th of April, and that means it's time for another pajama party with me. 
I am actually not having too much of a pyjama party today because I have invited a boyfriend and friend over to have some tuna pasta salad with me because yes why not but I am still reading Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty and it is absolutely fantastic obviously we I haven't had as much wonderful time to read as a lot of you guys get or you know I choose to do things I probably shouldn't be doing like spending my money going out instead of staying home and reading books like I really should be doing considering I'm going to be extremely effing broke very soon but it's going to come so yes big little lies I am now on page 281 oh my god it's so good guys I have been sneaky I've watched the first two episodes they were brilliant and it's really weird when you're watching a tv show and reading the book at the same time because it almost feels like deja vu in a way because I'm not really sure what I have and have not seen already and sometimes I'm like was that in the book feels really similar familiar I don't know but oh, it's so good I just love the entire way this book is set up with the with the what is it like um what's it called interviews at the end of every chapter and oh, it's just so like mysterious and I'm really irritated because I really want to find out who has died I have a theory and I'll tell you what my theory is because it doesn't really mean a spoiler so as we as you know I think I may have mentioned it in last week's Sunday's video what happens is this girl called Jane her son is considered to blame for this bullying of this girl called Amabella and there's this murder that happens and I have a feeling that it could possibly be Madeline that got murdered which is played by Reese Witherspoon but I don't know it's so it's so weird and it, ah, it's just the best show in the world and it's the best book in the world and I just think Le Leanne Moriarty is fantastic and I was looking on bookstagram the other day and I saw that Stephen King had actually said how good this book was. So there you go. That's, you know, if Stephen King says so, boom. But, yes, so I'm going to read a couple of pages and enjoy a very sneaky glass of wine in my wine hug in a glass noun t-shirt. <laughs> um, I'm going to enjoy this until my friends get here and then we're going to have tuna pasta salad which is going to be really delicious it's a new recipe i just tried i will show you what it looks like it's so yummy i'm not a massive fan of mayonnaise in fact i absolutely hate it but so i put if there's a fridge while i explain it so what i did was cooked the pasta and then just while it was al dente i put in a cup of frozen peas and cooked it for 30 seconds then I drained it and rinsed it with cold water and then I put um, two tins of tuna, three massive spoons of mayonnaise, and I really don't know mayonnaise but okay we're going to see what it comes out like, um, one chopped red onion diced and what else did I put in? Salt and pepper and that might be it. But yeah, this is what it looks like, and I'm really excited to feed my friends. Yum. Oh, yes. It does look delicious, doesn't it? Chef Jade strikes again. Yes, so while we wait for them. Oh, and by the way, did you notice the blonde? Do you like it? Let me know what you think. It's a new thing, and um, hmm. Let me know what you think. Definitely not going back dark again because it's such a bloody process to go blonde. <sighs> and it's expensive. So, <laughs> blonde is staying. So if you don't like it, oh well. I have to like it because I can't afford to not like it, to be very, very honest with you. But, mm. <sighs> Let me know how your Sunday is going. I know you'll only see this within the next two Sundays, but I don't really know how to end these videos when I know it's going to be a collaboration of four Sundays in a row. I'll see you next week. Hopefully I won't look completely different by then, like I looked compared to last week, Sunday. Makeover!
<laughs> hey guys, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. It is Sunday the 23rd of April. We're still in April. Um, as you can see, I did miss a week of this last Sunday. I decided not to film because, to be honest, I just didn't feel like it. The last week or so has been pretty hectic and difficult, so there's been a couple of things going on. My relationship has pretty much gone to shit. And I also, the doctor thinks he's diagnosed me with a very severe case of um, gluten intolerance. Basically, like, that... Like I, my, I've got really sensitive skin and I keep breaking out in rashes, so it's gluten free for me from now on. It's like, I don't even know if I'm allowed this, it's a Spanish product and obviously Spain is useless. So they're taking the time to get back to me, I emailed them because one of the ingredients, the emulsifier, is soya lecithin which I think is like a binding ingredient or whatever. But I don't know if I'm allowed that because I need to avoid gluten, wheat and barley. So waiting to hear back until I can dig into these guys. So for now, it's just coffee. But yes. So it's like five o'clock in the morning and I've actually been up since about three. Don't ask me why on a Sunday, I just cannot sleep. My coffee's too hot to drink. Before I get into the book I am currently reading, maybe I should just explain to you what happened in my relationship. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea. You know, with what happened to me when I was in Spain with my ex, I do have issues since then. I really, really struggle to trust and believe that someone can be faithful, I really do, and it's affecting my relationship I am currently in quite badly, and my second channel, Breezes and Bird Songs, I haven't actually known at all what to do on that channel for a while, so it's just kind of been doing nothing, whereas in the beginning, like, it was really fun doing, oh, well, caught my boyfriend watching porn videos with my brother, it was just hilarious, but it's kind of been on the back, back burner for a while. But I think I finally found something that I'd like to speak about on that channel and it's going to be life after a toxic relationship and how it does affect you. So head on over to my second channel at some point because I'll be working on that next week. As for some more positive things to speak about, I recently purchased 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, it's a bestseller, it's actually quite old, I think it was published in 2007, but it's just become a TV series, so obviously I really wanted to get my hands on it, and I've just gotten to page 42, I started it yesterday, and it's fantastic so far, basically the premise is that it's, this girl has committed suicide, but before she did, she taped 13 tapes and she dedicated them to people and they're the reasons why she did what she did to herself. She took a bunch of pills. And I just think that it's... I mean, imagine receiving one of those. I mean, the main character is this guy and he has absolutely no idea what his role in this is because as far as he knows, he's done absolutely nothing wrong to this girl that's now killed herself, but she's saying that if he doesn't carry on listening, there's a second set of tapes and she's going to release them to the world somehow and he's being watched and it's really hectic and I think it's going to be a very gripping and hectic book and I'm excited to see the show afterwards. In other news, today is a very special day because even though it's five o'clock, in maybe five hours, I'm going to become an auntie once again. My brother's wife is going to the hospital for her last checkup, and they find out today if. Why are the ants on my floor, you bastards? They find out today if they're going to have a C section today at 10 or if they're going to let her have natural birth. So I will probably give you a bit of an update a little bit later today when I look slightly more appealing for one. And two, 
if I'm an auntie again to a lovely little baby boy. I don't know what his name's going to be yet, so it's going to be really, really exciting. My first nephew is called Jensen, and he is three years old and four months, and he's about to be a big brother. So really happy, really excited, and I cannot wait to see. It's really horrible because I live in Cape Town now in the city, so I can't go there and be there for the day because I've got work tomorrow. But as soon as possible, I will get my butt down to Neisner and meet that little guy. Hey guys, so it's still Sunday the 23rd. I am now an auntie to two beautiful nephews. The one is Jensen, who is three years old and four months. And then we have the arrival of Wyatt. His name is Wyatt and he's beautiful. He's got pitch black hair, dark olive skin and really beautiful big eyes. <sighs> Can't wait to meet him. Ah! I'm sitting outside having a very celebratory glass of wine, enjoying the breeze. I've got the slow cooker on and I have been cooking up a storm. Let me show you. I even baked. Now, I am not a baker by any means whatsoever. So have a look at my incredible um, creation of a gluten-free, eat me, gluten-free chocolate chip muffins. I mean, how good do they look? Yummy. And in the slow cooker, we've got yumminess going on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gonna make some rice just now and then have a nice dinner, celebrate the arrival of my beautiful little nephew Wyatt into the world. I'm probably going to plan a trip up to Neisner on the 6th of May so that I can go and meet the little guy. Ah, how lovely is my garden. I love it. Nice breeze, everything's happy. I'm feeling a lot better than earlier. I think it was 5 a.m. and I was clearly not a morning person. <clears throat> I do have some champagne in the fridge, just waiting for someone to arrive so we can pop it open together. But it's going to be lovely and chilled, so arrival of the nephew. Right, so what else do I want to say with you? Um, I'm busy reading 13 Reasons Why and my word guys, it's so good. I'm already 100 pages in, oh, I can't put it down, it's so brilliant. Really, really, really good. Gripping, amazing. The writing is good. I mean, it's a debut novel, and I mean, the writer I think used to work in a bookstore, so he really does have a way with words already. You can see he does love literature, and it's just really different and quirky and awesome. So, yes. 